Had to tell our friends what we're going to draw today. We're going to draw Princess Celestia. Another little My Little Pony? Yeah. All right, little girl, you got your marker? Yeah. Good. We hope you guys are going to follow along with us. This is going to be a lot of fun, huh? Yeah. She's a really pretty My Little Pony. And we're going to color her too? Yeah. Sounds good. Let's draw her. You ready? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with our paper. Horizontal, and we're using eight and a half by 11 sheet of printer paper. And since we're using Sharpie, we're using two sheets of paper so it won't go through onto the table. Cool? Yeah. All right, let's do this. We're first gonna start with our eye, okay? And we're gonna draw, we're gonna be at middle of the paper, off to the left, up, up top, okay? Towards okay. the top. And we're gonna start with our eye. So we're gonna first draw a little curved line, and we're gonna draw her eye kind of small because we don't wanna to get too big and, and run out of room, okay? So just draw a little, so right about, here, let me see, we draw it right about here, we're just gonna draw a little curved line, okay? Good job, okay? Now we're gonna draw the bottom of her eye and it's gonna come down and then kinda of hook like that. So see that? Come down and over and down. Yes, good job. Okay, now let's draw the front of her eye. So curve line like that, connect it. Good, and then we're gonna draw two more lines. Okay, so we're gonna draw one. Yes, and then another one. And draw another one, right like that. Right next to it. Good job, Hads. And I made mine a little more curved and yours are kind of straight, but that's okay. We're going to draw a circle inside, and that's for the light reflecting off of her eye. And we're going to color this, this side in, but don't color in that circle. Good job! Okay, now let's do our eyelashes. So we're going to bring one eyelash out the back of her eye. Good. And then we're going to draw two more eyelashes, one right there, and then another one right here. Does that look like Princess Celestia's eye? Yeah. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right, now let's start drawing her head, okay? We're gonna draw a curved line, just like that. Okay, so we're gonna start right here, right above her eye, and then draw a curved line down here. So is that okay that I make little points for you to help? Yeah. Okay, I won't do it too much. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw the front of her nose. So we're gonna draw a curved line that comes down out of that curve, just like that. So this is the top of her nose. Good ads. And we're gonna draw another line right down like that. <laughs> Good, and then we're gonna draw like an S curve that goes like this. Good job. Okay, now let's draw the mouth, her mouth. Draw a little smile right there. Okay, and then her little nostril. <laughs> Good job, you did it. Okay, now let's draw her horn. So we're gonna draw a little, we're gonna draw a curve up here for the front of her hair. Draw that curving up a little more. And then we'll come back up here and draw a line that connects in. Oh, I like it. You did your own little points. <laughs> okay, and then we'll connect it right there with the, the front of her hair. Good job. Okay, now let's draw her horn. And it's going to come up, up to here. We're going to draw a line down. We'll put a little point up there. And then here, I'll show you. Then we draw a line that's going to come down to that point right, right about there. Good, and then we'll draw another line on this side for the other side of her horn. Okay, now let's draw the lines on her horn. So we draw some curved lines that come down her horn, like this. Good job, that looks awesome. Okay, now let's do her crown, okay? Okay. We're gonna draw a line that comes down, across her head like this, 
and it stops right there. So we draw right here, yep, and then come down. Yeah, you did it. Then we're gonna curl around and make a little swirl. Good, and then we'll come back up here and we'll make the top of her crown a little upside down U or V. Good, and then we can do another one. We can do another one, but a little smaller. Good, and then we're gonna come down and connect it over here into the swirl. Yes, you did it. All right, there's a little diamond right here or a little gem, but a diamond shape right there in the front. <laughs> Good job. Are you having fun? Yeah. We almost got her head all done. We're just gonna finish her hair and her ear, okay? So we're gonna come back up here and we're gonna draw a leaf shape. So we'll draw a curved line up and then a curved line down. And that's for her ear. Yeah, and then back down. And we'll put a small curved line right here inside her ear. Good. All right, now let's draw the hair on the side of her face. And we're gonna draw a little curved line or hook that comes up, hooks up like that. Comes down, hooks up. Yes. Oh, and you did a little swirl. I like it. And we're gonna come back around and back up. Yep, and then we'll come back up to her crown. So we'll bring this line up this way and then into her crown. Yes, you did it. I like it. Heads. Okay, now let's finish. We'll pretend that line keeps coming through right here, comes through a crown and into her ear right there. Good. Okay, now we're going to bring her hair. So this hair line is going to come through her ear and come up to her crown. Go through her crown like that. I got a little wobbly. You're supposed to point it out. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So we're going to imagine that line going through her crown and then coming back over to her horn. Good. And then now we're going to come out this side of her horn right there and we're going to do a swirl or a little wavy line that comes down and then we're going to just go off the paper. Okay. So come down and then off the paper. Yeah, good job. Okay, heads. All right, let's come down and we'll start doing her neck. So we're gonna come back over to her hair right here and we're gonna bring a little line down like that and just be kind of short, not too long. Good job. Then we're gonna draw another one out of her cheek or her jaw right here. <laughs> good, heads. <laughs> That's a pretty one, I like it. Okay, hey, now we're gonna do uh, her her necklace, huh? She has a really pretty necklace. So we're gonna draw, connect the bottom of her neck like this. So this can come down, bring this line down a little further. Good, and then we're connected. Good job. Okay, now let's bring another line around her neck, her necklace, and down. Yes, and then you can bring that line a little further over here. Good job. Okay, now we're going to finish the other side of her necklace and come down. And this, we're going to keep bringing it around like that. So I went past that line, and this line's going to come into it like that. So we'll start here, and then draw a curved line that comes down to there. Good, you did it. All right, now let's put another diamond shape right here so we could do a sideways V, two lines. It's like an arrow. Or an arrow, yes. A little arrow right there. Oh, yes. And then we'll do another one on this side. 
<laughs> Good job, Ads. Okay, should we do our wings next? Yeah. All right, here we go. So we're going to draw a big line that's going to go crazy. It's going to come up and around to her hair. You see that? So we'll start here, and we'll do a big line that curves around and goes right to there. Yes. And we're going to bring another line this way, and that's the start of her wing. Yep. And then we're going to do a little hook around. Good job. Okay, then we'll do another one. Bigger. A bigger one. Wobbly. And wobbly. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Good job. Then we'll keep going. We're going to do a couple more. We're going to do a bunch more. You know what? We'll just keep going. So watch me. I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to get a little smaller as we get down here. You see that? Yeah. So it'll get a little smaller as you get down here. Okay. Okay, you go ahead and do that. We can speed it up too if you want. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do the inside of her wing. And we're going to draw a line that goes along this one. And we're going to... So we'll do that first. So bring a line right here, draw a line right there. That's parallel to the outside of her wing. Good. And then we're gonna curve around and we're gonna draw the inside of her wing, the feathers on the inside. Good. And then we'll do a couple more of those feather lines. Good job, heads. All right, now we're gonna draw the back wing. So we'll draw a little, another hook right here. So it's like this wing, but behind. So we'll draw a little right there. Good, and then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna do some more feathers. So one, two, three, like that. <laughs> okay, heads, now let's go back up to the front and we're going to do her legs, okay? So we want her legs to be really long, so we're going to come all the way down here and we're going to draw, so we'll draw one curved line all the way down, almost to the bottom of our paper. You see that? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, now we're going to come back up and we're going to draw another leg, or the other side of her leg. Right, like that. And I started skinny. See how I started skinny? So do it from that line, or that point, down to that point. And then it gets a little thicker down at the bottom. Yeah, good job. Then we're gonna do a curved line to connect the bottom. And then let's put another leg behind that one. So we'll do that, another line for her back leg and then we'll connect that in. Good. Okay, now let's do her belly. Good. And then we're gonna draw the this line for her back leg. So I cut it, I made it curve this way and then back. Go ahead. All right, now let's do her her butt. And then we're going to curve around. <laughs> and we're going to bring that line down. That. So curve from her wing right there all the way down to there. Then we're going to bump it out like this. down, finish your leg. Good job, heads, and then we'll curve line to connect them. And then we'll do one, another line back here for her other leg in the back. Yes, and then we'll bottom line. 
All right, what does she have for a cutie mark? Her son. Yeah, she has a son. So let's draw a circle. Like that. Good. And then we can draw another circle around that one. Good. And then we're going to draw little S's for the sun, the sun rays. So we could draw a little S line that comes out and goes back in. So it's a little tricky. And if you want, you can just do um, a zigzag line. Did you want to do a zigzag line? Yeah. Because it's even tricky for me. That. Yes, that is perfect. I like it. Are you having fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. <laughs> All right, she's got little shoes. It almost looks like she's got really pretty shoes on, huh? Yeah. So, and that's a cool design. So we're gonna draw a little line, comes down. Yep, and then a hook, or an upside down U. And we'll come back. We'll kind of run that room a little bit. And then we'll do another curve. And then a line that goes across the bottom. And we can do that same step on all of these, so line down. So on this one, just draw a line down because you you can run out of room and I'll run out of room too. So we'll just leave it like that. And we'll do the same on this side. So we do a line down on that foot. And one upside down U. And then back. And then curve. Backward C. Good job, Ads. You're getting it in there. And then a line off the bottom. Okay, and then on the back, we'll do the same thing, but you just run out of room, you can just do a line down, diagonal line. <laughs> there we go, we got it. Now we're missing the most important part of her body, huh? Yeah. What is it? Her hair. Yes, yeah, her really pretty hair, huh? So we're gonna draw, we're gonna come back up here and we're gonna finish the swirl off, off of her hair here. So we'll draw another line, that comes down, and swirls down like that. Can you do that? Draw another swirl that comes off the page. Okay, and then we're gonna draw the bottom of this swirl right here. And you can make it any way that you want because this part this part is the fun part. You just do whatever, huh? Make yeah. it look pretty. So I'm going to draw, this is going to be the bottom of her hair. And I'm going to swirl. Just make it look however I want. Good. And then this bottom stripe is pink, huh? Yeah. Like that. So we got blue, green, blue, Pink, huh? Yeah. All right, now let's do her tail. And she's got a really pretty tail, huh? Remember, curve line up. Curve line right here. Good. And then we're going to swirl down. Do a big wave down. <laughs> oh, good hats. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring this line right here. Swirl out. And then maybe go around like this and then scroll back. So I know this is kind of tricky, huh? Wobbly. Yeah, wobbly. Oh, no. This is kind of tricky. So you just go ahead and make your tail look however you want. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. All right, cool. We got our tail in there. It's all finished, huh? Was that fun? Yeah. It was pretty cool. She turned out really nice, and I like how yours turned out. It's okay that ours looks different, huh? Yeah. What's the most important thing when we're drawing? Having fun. Yes, having fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. Okay, should we color her? Yeah. All right, let's do it. We'll get our colors all ready. All right, Hads, we got our colors all ready. We're going to use a lot of white. We're going to do layers of white over almost all the colors to make them look less bright, okay? okay. So we got, we, what colors do we got? We got purple, orange, light blue, pink, green, and yellow. You ready? Yeah. All right, let's start with her eye. And we're just going to do purple in her eye. And just do the top like this. And then we're going to do a pink at the very bottom.
Yeah, so it looks like it's blended. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, now let's do her crown. And we're going to do a layer of yellow on top and just do a light layer. And then we're going to do white on top of that. So let's do the same thing to her necklace and her shoes, the designs on her shoes. Okay, now we're going to work on her hair. So let's get the pink. And we're going to do this bottom stripe right here. And we're also going to do one of the stripes on her tail. All right, let's speed it up. You ready? Yeah. Right yeah. now. Done. We did it. And we put a layer of white on top of the pink, didn't we? Yeah. You did it over the whole thing. I put it just on the bottom. And I kind of want to go over the whole thing, but I'll just leave it like that. All right, okay, now let's do the blue. So we're going to switch to light blue. And this one, we don't want to press too hard. We just do a light layer, and then we're going to do white on top of this too. So we're going to do this one, and we're also going to do that stripe on her hair. You're going to mark them, and then mark that one too. And then we're going to hop over here, and we're going to do that in the inside of her tail. Okay. So you can do that one. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. As we're on to our last part, we're going to use our light green and we're going to do this stripe on her hair. And you know what? We need to do another stripe on her tail for you. So you could get your marker again and do another stripe right here so that you can color it green. Is that cool? Yeah. Cool, Heads, you did it. Now we're going to do this last stripe green. And so we'll do in there green, okay? And in there green. You mark it. Hey, let's fast forward. Right now. All right, heads, so we did green and we did blue and we did pink, right? And we did white on top of all of it. So, and then that made it look so that the colors weren't as bright. They look a little more pastel, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we got to do one more part of her hair. We're going to get the blue again and we're going to do this part, this little part that curls around her face right like that and then we'll do some more white on top of that i got one more little piece right above her crown right there good okay now let's get our purple and we got to do the little gem on her necklace purple and then the gem on her crown Okay, now we need to do the orange. We need to get an orange for you, and we're going to do our cutie mark along with yellow. So let's do, this one's too bright. Let's do an orange like this. And I'm going to use this one. Okay, and we're going to do the star, the sunbeams coming out of her, out of the sun, orange. And then we'll do the yellow inside of that. Guys, you did such a good job. Give me five. Your Princess Celestia looks perfect. She looks really pretty, just like you. Boop. Did you have fun? Yeah. Promise? Yeah. And that's the most important thing, right? Having fun. Yes. Having fun is the most important thing. And we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing Princess Celestia with us. If they want to take a photo of their art and send it to us, what's our email address? Our, my art at artforkidshub.com. Yes, my art at artforkidshub.com. And should we say goodbye to our friends? Yeah. See you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. High five. Boom. And a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you want to arm wrestle? Yeah. Okay, arm wrestle. <sighs> oh, you are so strong. How'd you get to be so strong, little girl? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, you are the champion arm wrestler.